Sorry I haven't been recording much lately. Some days I would be feeling like recording or it would be in my mind and then the day would pass by and then I just wouldn't really feel like it. So actually right now it's 6.20 in the morning. It's the middle of the Epicenter final right now. It's Team Liquid versus BC Gaming. So VP lost earlier 2-0. to They kind of got stomped by Liquid, although game one was really good. They managed to get a Rampage, which is basically one person killing five people in a row. I was so surprised that they still managed to lose that game. So too bad VP can't um, win or get to the grand finals in their home country. But now I'm going to be rooting for BC Gaming. Game 1 just ended, Team Liquid won pretty dominantly, so hopefully VG will put up more of a fight because they have really shown that they have the potential to do so. Aside from that, I didn't manage to talk about this on camera or it was a segment that I wanted to include in my Vegas vlog, but decided not to because when I recorded it at the time, it was the day after I got back from Vegas and I was still kind of annoyed or unhappy about my parents so I probably talked a lot about stuff that I don't really think I want to go into detail but basically I won't be going home next week on July 4th like I originally planned because my dad was concerned about Riley carrying fleas on her I don't think he fully understands how they work and that she is on medication. I've told him that many, many, many times, but he will believe what he wants to believe. So he didn't want me staying at home when I went back to New Jersey. So I would have had to pay for an Airbnb. And even though he said he would help me pay for it, I still don't think it would have been that much. And me booking an Airbnb for five days in New Jersey, it would have ended up being close to a thousand dollars. And then I would have to also figure out stuff like transportation because my dad wasn't really fond of picking me up when I landed because I was landing at around like 6 a.m. on Wednesday or Thursday or something and he was worried about traffic because I would be landing in JFK in New York. So with all of that, renting a car, figuring out a way to get from the airport to my Airbnb, I figured that's really expensive. And it's such a big hassle and I don't want to hassle when I'm traveling with Riley. So I decided not to go, unfortunately. I guess my main reasoning was just that I don't want to put myself in more debt with stuff like that. And that trip would have costed probably at least $1,500. That's just a lot of money for a trip I don't consider one I'm very excited about. I would say something like my own plans like Montana. That's something that I chose to do that I am very much looking forward to. And it's actually just about, I think it's about two weeks away because next week I get two days off for July 4th. And then the week after that, ah, so it's more like three weeks, but it's very close because next week I get two days off. And then the week after I work a full week. And then the one after that is when I leave. I leave on a Tuesday, so basically I have three plus five plus one, nine days of work before I leave. I haven't really been checking the weather for what it would be like over there, but I'm really hoping that it's gonna look way better than I checked last time. Honestly, I am a little bit nervous about the drive because two whole days of driving, I think is gonna be very, very exhausting on me. I am breaking it down into two days of driving, so I still need to rebook my hotel at the halfway point. I was probably going to do it, I forget what the town was called, but it's actually the same route that I took to get to Utah, so it's going to be just north of Hurricane Utah. And I also still need to find someone to take care of my cats. That part I'm really not pleased about because I hate the aspect of a stranger. Coming in my house, I really don't like that idea, but I have to because I'm gonna be gone for nearly two weeks. So I need someone to pick up their shit, change their pee pad and just refill the food, which will be a short trip, but I have to find someone and I should do it soon because I should make sure their availability is there. But aside from that, 
not much has really been going on. Today is basically the last day of me messing up my sleep schedule for Dota. This tournament started last week, so I've been waking up at 2 a.m., 12 a.m. to watch it, and it has been very exciting, but also really exhausting, of course. I think my biggest problem with tournaments like this is I really dislike the idea of taking a nap when it's daytime and when it's such nice weather outside. So yesterday, I was up since 2 a.m. and watching until about 11 a.m., so I took a nap right after that, and I think I slept until 3 p.m.-ish. And normally, I think these past few days over the weekend, the weather has been really great, so I would have loved to take her hiking, but I didn't want to force that activity because of the circumstances, because if I drove an hour out and then hiked and then drove an hour back, I think that would be really, really not the greatest idea with um, minimal sleep and just feeling fatigued. So unfortunately today might be the same case because I've been awake again since 2.30. I'm not really sure I feel like taking a nap today. Maybe the best thing for me is to just sleep a little bit earlier. Yeah, I don't think there's much really going on in my life. I can't think of much to talk about. Um, horseback riding is still going really well. The thing is though, these past few months, it hasn't been four lessons a month. It's been more like two to three. Even though it hasn't been four lessons a month, which I like for consistency, I don't mind that as much because it's allowing me to save more money. I do feel a little stingy sometimes when I think of the cost of $260, or is it $265? No, it's $260 a month if I do four lessons. So if I cut it down to two, I really don't mind. And sometimes having my Sunday not be a day where I have to anticipate going somewhere is nice. I do admit that even something as small as adding in horseback riding lessons for one hour on a weekend, it kind of throws me off at times because I'm so used to my weekends just being like, I can sleep in as late as I want and I can just go out when I want. But when I put in a lesson, I have to actually, you know, plan around that even a little bit. I guess in terms of my life, that's all there is for now. But yesterday, I actually watched a really great German movie. It's called Never Look Away. And that movie I mainly heard about because it was nominated for an Oscar last year. And it also has an actress from France in it, Paula Beer. So I talked about France before, or I wrote about it in my blog, but that was one of the movies from, was it last year or was it this year? Sometimes I forget. I think it's definitely last year. I watched it last year and it was amazing. I loved it so much. It made me cry so much and it has just stuck with me for so long. I have a few songs from the soundtrack added to my Spotify and whenever I listen to it, it just instantly transports me back to that first time I watched it and I immediately feel what I felt. So that movie means a lot to me and it encourages me to check out other works of the leads from that movie. So Paula was excellent in that movie and she was excellent in this one. Although actually this movie was more focused on the male leading character, she was just his wife but this was a three hour movie, and at first I was like, whoa, I've never seen a foreign film for that long. I wonder you know, if it's gonna feel as worthwhile, and this movie was actually fantastic. Um, I loved that they made it three hours because I feel like every single scene or like the whole story needed to be told in a slow way. Like every single event was very meaningful for the lead character. This was the period after World War II, basically, and it was really just such a great movie. The lead was really good. He's definitely someone that I need to be adding for work that I check out. His name is Tom Schilling, which, well, you know, I don't know. Uh, at first I was thinking that name doesn't sound very German, but what do I know about German names? So. I watched that movie in two sections. I watched it for about two hours, maybe two nights ago, and then I needed to sleep for Epicenter, then I finished it yesterday. But yeah, I loved it a lot, and I have been 
watching less movies lately, which sucks at times, but I guess I'm still managing to watch some and get through them, so that still makes me happy. There's definitely a few that I have coming up that I'm very much looking forward to watching. Some of them are really random, like Pet Cemetery by Stephen King. This one is a remake, and it's actually not rated that highly, but I'm still intrigued to watch it, so I will probably do that. And as usual, I have a ton of other stuff that I would like to get into. Yellowstone also started recently, so the second episode just happened on Wednesday, and I actually have yet to watch it yet today. Yeah, I think I'll watch that today. That would be good. I have finally been putting more time in the series, which is surprising because I have basically been tunnel visioning movies for the past few years. So I'm also watching Big Little Lies on HBO. That one I actually loved the first season for because I think Nicole Kidman, I think I talk about her a lot, she's an amazing actress and her performance in Big Little Lies is incredible. and just. The cast is nice. It's like Reese Witherspoon, Shailene Woodley, Zoe Kravitz, all very talented actresses. Also Laura Dern, I can't leave her out. So there's another episode coming out tonight. I think it's episode three. Yes, three. And yeah, overall I've been good. Uh, just thinking about the upcoming trip mainly. Will be a bit sad that there's gonna be no more Pro Dota until end of August. So end of August is going to be interesting because there's going to be TI for the entire week and then I think the day after TI or two days after TI, Classic is going to be out on a Tuesday. So I did log in last week during one of their open stress tests for vanilla and it was basically as I anticipated. At first I was thinking, ooh, I get to try this out even if it's only until level 15. So I logged in one night, played for a very short period of time, and then I anticipated playing it the second night. But then when I did, I started realizing that leveling is fucking boring and that I do not want to be fighting over mobs constantly because it was so congested. I think it's only across three realms, right? So there were so many people around, I had to wait around for basic ass shit like kobolds. So I didn't want to do that anymore and honestly I don't get enjoyment out of leveling so I will just wait until the game comes out for me to just do the mandatory leveling stuff and actually earlier I was thinking that I should cancel my subscription until it comes out because I don't want to give them free money so anyways game two is probably going to be starting soon but I wanted to pop in and talk a little bit because I just haven't been uploading as much. And I mean, it's been about a week, but I just haven't been actually recording throughout the week. So yeah, wanted to say hi that I'm still here and I will see you guys later.